Well, switching gears here, if you're not buying Louisiana seafood, the Seafood Safety Task Force says you could be taking a gamble with your health. Gabriella Mercurio was at their meeting today and heard plans to make sure the shrimp on your plate is safe while also helping out our local fishermen. Gabby. Hey, good evening, guys. Increasing testing on all imported seafood was the main topic of discussion for the task force today, but there are other areas they're looking to that could change the industry in the future. Members of the Louisiana Seafood Safety Task Force are searching for answers to not only improve the dying domestic seafood industry, but also address health concerns coming from imports. And you can become antibody resistant from eating imported shrimp, imported fish. Our state should be able to do something in that way, even federally. I don't even understand how we're not protecting people. Commissioner Mike Strain thinks making our own rules is a good place to start. We can set the standards for all shrimp, for all crawfish, for all crabs. We set the standards. Their standards has to eat the our standards. Only around 2% of imported seafood is tested at the ports. Congressman I'm Garrett Graves believes partnering with the FDA to increase that number could be one solution. Shrimp testing um, and to ensure that we're getting the, the, the healthy product in the United States and that we're sending back the stuff that's using illegal chemicals. But more testing can be expensive and exhaustive for the four commercial inspectors in the state. To help cover these costs, Lieutenant Governor Billy Nunjesser suggests increasing tariffs. To ask the federal government to add five to ten cents a pound inspection fee on all imported seafood. They're also tackling the issue of mislabeling products. According to Commissioner Strain, over the last few years, there's been over 2,300 mislabeling violations. When you look at that label, you think it's Louisiana crawfish. It's Boudreaux, right? They got a nice shrimp boat on it and all that sort of thing, but it's a product of China. And only on the back, if you're really looking and you know to look, that it's there. Local shrimpers say this is something that's only hurting them even more. You're paying me to know that what all of our culture has developed and what we have made Louisiana known for, we've got a country like China. And I don't know if y'all been watching China over the last few months and years, but I don't want China and those imported products coming from China benefiting from, from nothing about what I'm about. To help protect them, Nunjesser believes they should create new legislation for punishment and enforcement. First offense, 5,000. Second, 10,000. Third offense, 25,000. Let that money go back to the seafood board for both promoting our local seafood. The task force is taking all of these ideas and suggestions of how to make changes now in an effort to put together a comprehensive package before the next legislative session starts. Greg, Liz, Gabriella, right. thank you.